If you're looking for a way to stay organized this semester, you found the perfect video. I've been using Google Calendar for about two years now, and I can personally recommend this product to another college student looking to stay organized. So in this video, I just wanted to go over my process of starting a new semester and adding my classes, setting reminders, and all that fun stuff. Oh, and I'll show you how to make it look aesthetic because who doesn't like an aesthetic calendar? Let's get into it. So as you can see here, I have my calendar pulled up and this is just how it's looking right now. As you can see, it's color coordinated just with some light blues since that's more of a color that I like to lean into. Here, I just wanna go over how I would set it up and some unique features that I find interesting. So what I really like about Google Calendar is that you can set events that are repeating and ongoing for example my classes here every week it'll be automatically populated with my classes until they're over and here is how you can set it up to do the same so first we have to talk about calendars so each calendar represents a category of events for instance i have a personal calendar one for birthdays deadlines reminders school tasks web design and youtube now you can decide to check each calendar on and off to see it on your view for instance personal i can take off all my personal tasks and reminders and events but if i click it back on you'll see them here so to start, once you've made your, your Google Calendar account, you'll want to create a calendar that suits your needs. For instance, you might have a personal one for deadlines in school. So once you've created a school one, you can go here and add a class. For instance, let's pretend we have a class on Tuesday. You click here on the calendar or you can go here to the button where it says create. Let's say we have art class and this class is going to be an event. Then we're going to start on Tuesday and let's say we have this class from let's do 1030 to 1230. Now where it says does not repeat here, you're going to click custom. Here's where you're going to set up the frequency of it repeating. So what days you'll repeat, let's say we have Tuesday and Thursday. And then when does it end? Let's say it ends in May 8th. Then we click done. Now this will repeat every week on the days we set until May 8th. So it's really useful. That way you don't have to populate it, obviously. Then here is where you're gonna set what calendar you want it to correspond to. So you click school for mine. And now you can add a notification to remind you about the event. These notifications can be custom from minutes to hours and days and weeks. I had it set by default at the beginning of the semester and it had a 30 minute reminder. It got annoying. I never switched it off until now. Although it got annoying, it did save me a couple times from being late to class when days that I forgot. I don't know who forgets they have class when it's an ongoing thing, but <laughs> I guess Google Calendar came in clutch. So that's one of the features that I really like and enjoy. But yeah, like I said, I usually set reminders for exams. So I'll probably set a reminder to study and that I have the exam or a set deadline for a project. So these notifications can come in handy, but you don't have to have them. So you can disable them. You can also add a location and a description. For my classes, I like to add the location of what room number they're in simply because at the beginning of the semester, I tend to forget. Also for the description, I like to add the professor's name just because again, I don't memorize my professor's names and it's a great way to just pull up my phone and see the professor's name. Okay, so for instance, I'm gonna just say room 208 and for professor, I'm just gonna say Mr. Dan or something. Then you click save. And here we have art class. As you can see, we can check off school. if We don't want to see it for any reason. Now, another great feature that I like about Google Calendar is that oftentimes I like to have a to-do list, but I've tried several different ways, having it in Notion, separate apps, or using the reminders app that Apple provides. But the way that I've found the easiest and most useful way to have a to-do list is Google to-do, I think it's called. It's Google Tasks, actually. So Google Tasks is an app on your phone, 
and it integrates really nicely here on the computer version. So you can have your Google task opened on your phone, add a task, and then come here on your computer and check it off. This is perfect for me because I like to open my calendar every single day and check off my to-do list, write down some to-do lists and check my schedule. This makes it super easy. That way I don't have to take care of two different apps. Everything is in one spot. Usually this is my panel that I open up every single day. I have my tasks here. You can easily write one, edit this video and then check it off as you go. You can also set reminders. You can set a date and time and you can make it repeat. For instance, as you can see here, every day I get reminded to do daily 20, which is my daily 20 minutes of cardio and as well as go to the gym and two rounds of monkey type because I'm trying to get better at typing. As you can see, this to-do list integrates beautifully with the calendar, so it all works in one system. I'm a big fan of ecosystems just because I love how they integrate with each other nicely. Now, in order to customize your calendar with your unique colors, you simply have to create each calendar for a different category, and then you simply just add the color. You go here and you add a custom color. Here you have a hex color is what I did. I went out and picked a color palette and then I implemented the hex codes here to each of my categories. And that's how easy it is to color coordinate your calendar. So in conclusion, I highly recommend using Google Calendar. I just touched on it briefly in this video. If you want me to go in depth, I'll be happy to dive deeper. So if you're interested, just let me know in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, consider giving it a like and thanks for watching.